Hello, today we're going to talk about occlusion sensitivity. Occlusion sensitivity is an explainable machine learning model as the other methods that we talked about in this course. The type of this method. So this type is a post hoc and model agnostic and data type agnostic method. Post hoc means that we can use this method after training the model. We don't need to integrate it inside of the architecture of the model or anything. Model agnostic means that we can use it with any model without any problem. <laughs> We can use it with any architecture without having anything to do or data type agnostic means that we can use it with any type of data so we can use it with images we can use it with text we can use it with anything that also is tabular data so the main idea of this method is that we have an image and we occlude some pixels in this image and we feed it a neural net with the same image without any occlusion or without any edits to the same neural network and we see the difference in the prediction of the neural network so if, if we have an image of a cat we hide some pixels in the ears of the cat and we feed it to the the neural network then can classify cats and we're gonna see the prediction score is going to be like 0.9 and then we feed the original image to the neural network and see that the classification score is going to be 0.95 this means that the ear of the cat has a sensitivity of 0.5 for example mostly we put zeros in, instead of the original pixel value but there are some other methods that we put the average value of uh, of the pixel value in this place so the main idea of this method is that we have a neural network and we want to understand what are the most important pixel in an image for this neural network to, to classify a, a cat as a cat or to classify a goose as a goose. So what we do is that we take the image of the goose that we are interested in and we feed it to a neural network and the neural network is going to classify it as a goose with accuracy of some for example like 0.95 and then we take the same image of the goose and we occlude some pixels in it what is the meaning of occluding some pixels in it that we replace the original pixel value of the of specific pixels in this image and we replace it with zeros there are other types of occlusion but we are going to use the method that we replace the pixel values with zero but there are many other types of occlusion. For example, uh, some people as average pixel value instead of putting zero and many other ways. And then we take the prediction, the neural network like here. So the sensitivity is going to be equal. The difference between feeding a neural network with the original input and the prediction of the neural network of the occluded input. So the absolute difference is high. This means it's these pixels or these occluded pixels are influencing the decision making mechanism of the neural network. And if the difference between both of them is small, this means that these occluded pixels doesn't have any influence or have very small influence on the neural networks. Uh, decision. All right, so that was the theory behind the occlusion sensitivity. Let's go through the code and see how it's being done. This code got a Captum website from the tutorials of Captum. All right, so what we need right now is an image and a pre-trained neural network. So the main focus of this tutorial is not to tell you how to build a model or how to train a model, but the main focus of this tutorial is to show you what is the meaning of occlusion sensitivity maps and how can you implement it fast using Captain? The first part here in our code, we are porting the most important libraries like Torch and Captain and Torch Vision. So right now we are having our model and we are having the transformation and we are having Captain methods. So right here we are we are building our model and we are transforming the model into evaluation mode so we can classify an image. All right. In this part we are downloading the labels and the classes for the ImageNet dataset and we are feeding it to our model which is ResNet 18. All of these steps is not the main focus of our tutorial but we need a pre-trained model and we need dataset and classes. So right now our model can stand what is the meaning of an image and, and will give us a class. So if we feed it with an image of a cat, it will classify it as a cat. We are doing the pre-processing steps for an input image to be able to be fed to a neural network. So we are having an image of a swan, like here I will show it to you. So this is the image of a swan that we are using. It's a little bit big swan. All right, cool. Here. 
So this is the image of the swan that we are going to feed it to our model. And uh, these are the pre-processing steps that we apply to the swan. And if you are interested in, in to know how what is the meaning of this code, tell me in the comments and I will do a tutorial about it. But mainly this tutorial is about explainability, not how to build models in PyTorch. Right now we are going to see what is the classification score of our model. So we're going to run it again. So our model is predicting that this image is an image of a goose with a prediction score of 0.93. Okay, right now we are having yeah the same again. I'm going to remove this. Okay, so this is a bread and butter of our tutorial. Here we are using Captain. So in Captain, we at the first cell here, we we used from Captain.attribution import occlusion here we are having a class of occlusion sensitivity we import it from captain library okay so we need here to initiate the class of occlusion and we get the class occlusion and we feed it with the model which is resnet 80 and make an instance of it here which is called occlusion and the attributions of the occlusion is going to be defined as this here so the occlusion class has attribute method this attribute method has one two three four five five arguments here and there are many arguments but mostly they are default by default filled in captain so the first argument is going to be input the second argument is going to be the stride the str so the strides are how is the moving wind which is hiding the pixel are going to move like is it going to jump two pixels every time is going to jump just one pixel is it going to jump eight pixels every time is it going to scan each pixel in the image or is it going to take some jumps between each uh, occlusion step and the target means we are here feeding the predicted label index so here if you have if you have a neural network with an output of like three outputs and each one of them are classifying a specific class like the first output is going to classify cat the second one is going to classify dog the third one is going to classify a bird so if you want to understand or if you are interested in knowing what is the influence of each pixel of a goose to the prediction of a, of a cat for example you are going to build here the index of the cat which is going to be the first one and if you are interested in knowing what are the pixels in this goose or in this image or any image or any other image for the prediction of, of a dog you are going to build the prediction of the dog here which is going to be the second index but in our case here this is the prediction label index of the goose in the resnet 80 and we are feeding it with the, an image of a goose so here we are in interested in knowing what is the pixels in the goose which is influencing the decisions of the neural network to classify the goose as a goose all right so anyway here you put the index here you are going to put the index of the label inside of your neural network so the sliding window shape this argument we use to define the size of the blocking window or the moving window that is hiding the pixel behind it i do it like 20 by 20 i'm having a square which is hiding 20 which i'm having a square of 20 by 20 and every pixel in this square is being replaced by zero and then feed this occluded input to the neural network and get a prediction from it so baselines here means what is the value that you want to replace here i'm defining it with zero this means that this, the moving square which is hiding the pixel each pixel in the moving a square is going to have a value of zero all right so this here we are finding our occlusion and in this one we are going to visualize importance or the influence of each group of pixels here we are having a h square of these are 15 pixel by 15 pixel and we replace each uh, pixel value with zero and see the influence of this super pixel for example if we can say it's super pixel and see the importance of this super pixel to the prediction of the of the neural network providing us with some visualization protocols here we are using the, the method this dot visualize image attribution multiple and we are feeding it with the attribution occlusion that we got from the previous step and the original image and we can run it like this and we are going to get this occlusion sensitivity map what is the meaning of this occlusion sensitivity map this means that the head of the goose is very important to the neural network to be able to classify the goose as a goose also this part here the wings are important also this uh, lower part 
and also the water was important like the context of the image was important also to classify the goose as a goose okay it's very easy you can find all uh, the documentation of this visualization protocol on the captain website everything is found on captain website and you can use captain very easily anyway